Stage one of the learner period is really about getting to know the car, where the controls are, how to brake and accelerate, how to steer, and if it's a manual, how to use the clutch and gears. It's about building up those basic skills before the learner can start driving on quiet streets. Well, before we even turned on the engine, we'd check the controls, the seat, seat belts, mirrors, handbrake, indicators, wiper. I reminded her every time she got in the car to adjust her seat and mirrors, till one day she got in before me and she reminded me to put my seatbelt on. At this early stage, they're just getting a feel for the car. They might have trouble controlling the thing. If you're unsure how to start, book in with a driving instructor for the first drive and watch from the back seat. It'll be good for your learner's confidence and your own. Lessons can take some of the stress out of learning to control the car. Well, we started in the car park of my building on a Saturday. We did laps while she got used to the steering wheel and controls. The first few practice sessions are just confusing. You don't really think about how you drive, you just do it. So when Jackie first said to me, how do you reverse, Mum? I found myself lost for words. So I just got her to put it in gear and have a bit of a go at it in a back street, quiet back street. You know, practice is better than just talking about it. Oh, we did our first few drives down near the footy reserve. Down the car park there, a few quiet streets near there as well. It's a, you know, a good place to practice. Reversing, I find that really difficult to learn. Um, I really think parents need to be patient about that. You can expect a few gear crunches, jerky steering. Yeah, I over-effed it on my first takeoff. It didn't go anywhere, but the um, car just bounced around a bit. My takeoffs are much smoother now. <laughs> At this early stage, it's important to give detailed instructions. Um, as the parent, you're very much in control. And I think she had a few problems with that. I mean, like most teenagers, she doesn't like being told what to do. In quiet roads away from traffic, learners should be able to set up the car for driving, know where the controls are, start the car, move off slowly, Take off from a slight slope using the handbrake, corner at low speed, slow down and stop smoothly, reverse in a straight line or curve, and in a manual, use the gears smoothly and efficiently at low speeds. If your learner can do these things consistently, then it might be time for the next stage. If you're unsure, consider using a driving instructor to check if your learner is ready to move on to stage two.